Hi, I'm Doc Watson, Technical Trainer for Bosch Automotive Service Solutions. Today our discussion is going to be reprogramming using the Mastertech VCI on General Motors. The first thing we need to discuss is it takes four pieces to make this happen. The very first thing that you will be interested in knowing to have would happen to be a battery stabilizer, also known as a clean power supply. Unlike a battery charger, this is a clean, stable battery supply. There is no residual AC sine wave that is left while programming that could influence or cause a bad programming situation. Next up would be the Mastertech VCI. If you're a current owner, congratulations. If not, then I would consider having one in your back pocket. The next piece will be the actual laptop that you will need to have for reprogramming. I would recommend that this be a dedicated laptop that you are only using for diagnostics. The first thing that you want to do is go to the GM AC Delco website. With that, we can click on where it says systems requirements and we can now research which type of computer you're going to use. You can see they have a list of desktops as well as laptops that they recommend. If you were to click on any of those, you would then see the list of recommended computers from General Motors and the specifications that they recommend. I highly recommend that you start all programming right there. Now that we have validated the computer that we're going to use for reprogramming, according to the GM website, now let's go back to our AC Delco webpage and let's click on service programming information. From here we can see the price and the amount of time allotted for reprogramming. We can look at the very bottom and scroll up and see which subscription fits our shop the best. And the one that we would pick for our shop today would be service and programming only. The cost of that is $55 for two days, there's $275 for three months, or $995 for a one-year subscription. Now that we've decided that we wanted to do the two-day subscription for $55, I want you to be aware there's also three months for $275 or one year for $995. And this is unlimited on the amount of reprogramming that you can do. Now that we are on our AC Delco website, the next step would be to register for the website. So we're going to go down here, it says not a registered user, click here. Fill out the form, including your shop information and contact information. Now that you have become a AC Delco subscriber, we can now log on to the AC Delco website using your username and password that you just created. On this page, what we need to do is accept the Terms and Conditions of Use Agreement. On this page, you will click on Service and Programming Information. And as you can see, we've now moved over to the vehicle and I have set the battery maintainer. I've hooked it up to the battery and we have preset the battery stabilizer to 13.5 volts which is recommended during reprogramming. The next step would be to take our Mastertech VCI and connect it to the vehicle itself and start our programming method. Now we're going to connect our Bosch Mastertech VCI to the OBD2 connector under the dash. Make sure that we have our USB cable connected to the laptop and turn the ignition on. Now that we have everything set up, what we're going to do is go back to our AC Delco account that I had you register for earlier. So now that we're going to log on, on this page we need to accept the terms and conditions of use. Once we have accomplished that, we will then go to service and programming information. 
you will now look through the list of services that GM has to offer and find your access, your subscription link. Then click on access your subscription. You can ignore this page if you want to, or you can click on OK, that there are unread news available on the GM website. But the key here is if you had a two-day subscription for service and reprogramming, you will only have the icon that says Service and Programming System, or SPS. We then will click on SPS to start the service programming. Every time you will say Java, open up on the laptop, as GM stores nothing on your computer, it strictly uses Java as the acting program. On this page, it will show you that the MDI manager nor the Tech2 manager has been installed. Just hit skip. We're not dealing with either one of those two tools. The next important thing is for you to click on where it says J2534M-VCI. That is your Master Tech VCI. You would click that. You have the choice of a reprogramming an ECU or replace and reprogram an ECU. Today we're just reprogramming, we are not replacing. So that is the icon that I will click on. Next I will hit next and then follow the steps. On our list, it says turn the ignition off, verify a vehicle battery is fully charged, turn the ignition on, engine off, connect the J2534 device to the data link connector or OBD2 connector, connect the J2534 device to your PC, then switch the J2534 device on and wait for the, the device to, to get ready. We have already accomplished all of this. So now we click next. We now set up for the vehicle. We are getting ready to reprogram. We start, it is a Cadillac. We pick that out of the list. Next would be the year. And this is a 2004. Next, it is a passenger vehicle. It is a CTS with a 3.6 liter VIN LY7. As we can see now, it is communicating to the GM website and it has identified the vehicle for us by VIN number. I recommend that you check that against the VIN number showing at the windshield to make sure that the PCM has not been changed prior to you doing this programming session. Next, we're ready to move on to the programming. We continue by clicking on next at the bottom of the screen. And you will see a list of programmable modules on that vehicle. We are going to continue forward by clicking on powertrain vehicle control module. The next important thing is for you to look at the bottom of the screen where it says normal and VCI. The important thing is to understand the difference that the normal is for aftermarket J2534. The VCI is the information that a manufacturer will use to reprogram a blank PCM where they have to call the manufacturer to get that information. So we're going to proceed forward using normal. It is highlighted and we continue by hitting next. So now what has happened is GM has showed us the calibration IDs. Starting from the top of that tree, you can see the calibration tree. The first calibration number in that tree was the original main operating system. And then each one of the red bullets next to that are updates that were available for this car. We are now down to one, two, three, four, five, the sixth 
update for this 2004 Cadillac CTS. This calibration update tells us that it will update for P2068 trouble code. So from here, we now continue hitting next. So now what we are seeing is the calibration updates are now coming from General Motors website to your PC. And now, as you can see, the bar at the bottom is moving. It is programming into the vehicle itself. The total time for this, the cl little clock here is ticking down, normally takes one and a half to three minutes to program a vehicle. Now that we have finished reprogramming this 2004 Cadillac, you can see I've disconnected the battery stabilizer. And now it's time to make sure that the car starts. So we're just going to reach in and verify. Check engine light is on, engine off. Car starts and runs. And again, all of this was accomplished with the Bosch MasterTech VCI. And I, again, this is Doc Watson for Bosch Automotive Service Solutions, and thank you for attending this.